As well as the role of production designer on the film Ratcatcher, um, I'm also doing the special makeup effects. Um, up until this point, we've done, I think, three or four test tested pieces for the film so far. One of the first pieces that I've um, attempted to do was a um, prosthetic stump that we secured to an actor's wrist. Um, I filled it with uh, bloodlines around the back, um, matched the skin pigment and tone to the actor's actual arm, and we filmed that for the, I think it's for the teaser trailer that um, is coming soon. Um, the second one we did was an animatronic rat, um, which is basically a wide control puppet um, that would be secured to a tree and um, then it would be puppeted uh, with some uh, wire rod uh, mechanisms. Um, very low key stuff. Um, hopefully, if all goes to plan, we will be bringing in some servo mechanisms and actual remote control animatronics with real foam latex skins. I'm just going to take you through the process of finalisation of the rat. Poor thing, with its stomach split open and some cabling run through the uh, through the right hand side of the thing. We've added all the mechanical components that make the rat to move and, and what, whatever so we've just got to add the guts as the rat is going to be impaled onto the table like that we want some guts hanging around in this area and then the hands and feet need to be put on and then we'll probably add some blood around the head so that's what we're up to now we have the guts ready and sculpted I'm just now uh, drying them out with some powder because we're using just very sort of quick uh, materials here because it's, you know I've not had long to produce this so it's just some cheap foam la uh, rubber latex not foam latex it's just rubber latex this is all the like, nice little footage rubber and things and there's a bit of a spine thing there and that's going to be implanted in the crevice here and there we have it instant guts on a stick guts on a stick so we've just got to now paint these and uh, cover them in blood and guts and things. There we go. And then obviously sort of add it to the rat. So another fun aspect to, to my job so far as a special makeup effects artist is to do um, um, battle damage. So things like broken arms and broken legs and um, all the visceral gore moments that are going to happen if you, if you um, come into some real violence in real life. Um, so that's really fun for me to do. Um, I'm used to sort of doing sort of creatures and puppets and things like that, but um, just to do some nice gore is, is always fun for me. So what we shot in the last few days um, is uh, we did a fight sequence. We choreographed a, a quick fight sequence. Um, me and Tom, the director, have uh, worked through a very sort of quick uh, choreographed um, fight um, where Tom proceeds to then break my uh, forearm and my upper leg. Um, this just adds real impact to any kind of real fight sequence and I think it really shows a, a sort of visceral realistic um, violence. So uh, everything up, up until now has been done as cheaply as possible um, because we're still waiting for um, the budget and things to come through. So um, I was just told to do it as quickly and as cheaply as possible. Um, so it, it basically involves the uh, invention of the um, black bag on a stick, um, which is exactly what it sounds like. Um, basically, I, I, I take a, a length of wooden pole, carve it in half uh, at about the knee sort of level, measuring it against my own legs, um, sort of making a very a very basic um, fo uh, foam latex um, kneecap and joint so that it gives a sort of realistic bend and it has a bit of like give to it um, when it when it's kicked. Um, and then basically padding that out with um, bin, bin liners that are then sellotaped very unceremoniously to the uh, pole. So really cheap effects, um, but it looks really effective. It only has to be cheap. And again, this is just for um, the sort of tester sequence. Hopefully, like I could say if budget comes in later on, we'll be able to add um, real casted foam latex uh, limbs and, and breakages and things like that that will look uh, even better. So with the level of finance that we're looking for um, for the film Ratcatcher, um, it, it would really allow me to really explore all the different avenues um, that comes with the special makeup effect. Um, I mean, there's some really interesting shots involving um, sort of bear traps and various other sorts of um, torture devices, if you like. Um, and it, you know, it, it's, it'd be really interesting if we could push that as far as it can go. 
um, for me, it, it, that's what excites me about special makeup effects. It, it's, it's about getting a, a product looking as realistic and as gut churning as possible. Because if, if I can look at an effect and it sort of makes me my stomach go a bit queasy, then I know I've got the right effect. And obviously, it's it, it takes um, a lot of time to produce these effects to the highest quality possible. But it also takes funding. Um, so that's what we're aiming for. Um, we really want this um, the goal level to be as realistic and as effective and sort of as eye popping as possible. Um, so we've got all kinds of sequences of, of bodies being strung up and, and limbs being caught and, and all that kind of stuff. Um, that involves sort of casting of actors. That involves making molds. That involves um, baking the products. Then obviously painting them, adding animatronics as we've already spoken about, and you know adding. A, pressure pipes, explosives, all sorts of things that go into making one, one it might even only be one simple effect, um, but to do it as, as, as professionally and as realistic as possible and to make it look as good for you, you people out there to see, then obviously the funding really needs to be in place.